Hey, today's Chrissy Chaos is going to be a best of the Patreon. It's got stuff about Joe DeRosa. It's got vlogs. It's got backstage stuff. It's got all types of crazy things that we just didn't want to put out public because probably get me in trouble. But I said, I'm going to get in trouble. Merry Christmas. Mariano right, Rivera, everyone. Best breath in baseball, Mariano <laughs> Rivera. Yeah. <laughs> all right, there it is. Mariano Rivera, folks. And um, I'm hiding a boner. My dad would always say, Jeff Nelson's my favorite pitcher because he's a sidewinder and I like a little something on the side, Chrissy. <laughs> and then he'd rub my head and drink a beer. <laughs> you lost my dad a lot of money. How do you, what do you have to say to him? <laughs> no, actually, you won it for him. The thing that's been going around the internet quick yeah. well, recently has been that 1986 Mets plane ride. Yeah, can you, were you on that plane when, the, when you guys knocked out the Astros going to the World Series? Uh, I, was on, I was on the plane. Uh, yeah, yeah. You don't remember anything, though? No. No, no. I don't remember nothing. No. It was a fun game. Yeah. Uh, great time at the ballpark. Yeah. Better time on the plane. Yeah, better time on the plane. <laughs> the plane, baby. You always my favorite player. That was very cool, man. Thank you. I and I, I've loved you from day one. And guess what? I got two daughters, and they're both half Puerto Rican because of you. Oh. God, I love the Puerto Ricans, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, the person you've been waiting to see, thank you for coming to Attica State Prison to watch the one and only... T.T. Jerry's Talk Show. Hello, everybody. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Here I am, T.T. Jerry, the one and only. Sorry. Hey, Kim Kardashian, you better move to the side because look who's here. The new Kim Kardashian, baby. I don't need to be out there trying to send my dick and balls to girls in Missouri. No, you don't. You don't. I'll send them you to don't. Jasmine. I'll t I'm going to text her right now. <laughs> I think for Scar, get when Scar is getting out of jail, I want you to bake him a nice German chocolate cake, and we'll write, he, he welcome home, Scar. He comes home already. Hey. You know what cake? Oh, he needs the whipped cream. <laughs> Put that whipped cream where is, on. Where, where is Scar going to eat the cake? In my place. Okay. So many historic household names have played the Beacon Theater throughout the years, and now because of the internet, it's me and Titi. Chris made me wait online. <laughs> Shit's crazy, it's cold out here. DeRosa was right about Chris! Because <laughs> I wanted to do my nails and Mom said she would do them today. Okay, but she's holding Violet. I'm gonna like. do them for you. Delilah. So did we do it? Did I get I my nails done for my big night? I need Maybe. to chill. <laughs> Bye, me and Pippa are going out for Good a little luck. bit. Hey. See you later, TT. Oh, my hair got stuck. <laughs> We made it, man. We made it. Sold out, you son of a bitch. You sold the fucking place out. You proud of Chris? Chris. I'm very proud of Chris. That's why I'm here, man. Support him. He was great. Great, Chris. I'm happy you made it, buddy. I'm backstage at the beep, 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 beep. Beacon Theater. About to go on in about 15 minutes. I'm not even lying. I have like insane, uncontrollable diarrhea. It's like, it's, uh, dude, I had, to, I, okay, my set, this is true. My seven month old daughter, Violet, is here. I just had to use all her baby wipes. Jasmine has somebody watching the kids now. She went across street to the freaking Rite Aid to get more baby wipes and Desiden. My asshole's on fire. Oh my God, dude. The gentleman, the man of the hour, the man with the power. Look at this, we sold out the beep, 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 Beacon Theater. <laughs> Except for these two seats, where are those people? There's a couple of empties, there's a couple of empties, but technically we sold every ticket, but there's a couple of empties, but you, listen, in these times, you don't know, they could be dead, and it's possible. We had a good time. I gotta go. I appreciate you guys coming. You know, so it's good. Thank you. Thank. This means the world to me. It's my home. Look at you guys. Thank you. It's good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm fucking Chris Beacon. I'm Kevin Beacon. I'm Kevin Beacon, folks. Thank you. Thank you.
Look at Homeless Pimp. Guys, here, thank you, I appreciate it, thank you. Here, take your seats, one second, one second, one second. Got one thing, one thing, one thing. Here, let me tell you something, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Thank you, by the way, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, no, listen, 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 listen. So, 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 listen to me, listen to me. So, I thought, it's the Beacon Theater, it's New York City. Listen, somebody came into my life a year ago, and I said, she, he, they, had some opportunities they miss because of some crimes they may or may not have committed. She's family to me, the queen of Instagram, TT Jerry, everybody. That all I needed, another nail broke. Another nail broke? Oh my God. Oh my God. Were you doing cocaine again? <laughs> you guys don't know what I went through getting dressed, getting ready to come here. <laughs> oh my God. This guy just came too. Guys, huh? This guy, you give him blue dress, you're giving him blue balls. <laughs> guys, oh my God. Go ahead. Listen. Yeah. Okay. First, what happened to me, I'm in my house getting dressed. What about my wig? This wig that I bought, new wig. All right, I'm so nervous. I take a cigarette, I go to the stove, turn on the stove, turn on the cigarette, my whole hair starts getting on fire. She lit her wig on fire, that's a true story. My whole wig, then the stupid shit. I'm like, oh my God, my hair's on fire, my hair's on fire. Not realizing that it was a wig, I could've just taken it off and thrown it in the sink. That's what it is. <laughs> the other part about me getting dressed, I'm putting on my dress, put on my zipper, my zipper breaks. Yes. So, but the most beautiful thing about it is that no matter what, I'm here to show love to my beautiful people. Yes. That's what matters. That's what counts. Now. Yes. I, I would like, it's funny that, you know, I, I appreciate all the love and support, but it is funny if there's, there's got to be some people in here that don't know the podcast and have no idea what's happening right now. And they're like, what the fuck? Is there anybody here that's like, I don't know who T.T. Jerry is at all? Mims, do you what? know T.T. Jerry? She's a listener to the podcast. Say, this uh, lady. Uh, she no, no, she knows. She's a big, like, you got this lady on camera? Yeah. Who doesn't, who knows T.T. Jerry? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, how about that? I know, I know. I know oh. everybody knows you. <laughs> oh, my God. You know that people send me a lot of comments on Instagram. How the hell did I get my legs like this? You know? Look at that. Wow, uh -huh. honey. Running from the cops. <laughs> that, is that the workout? Just run from that, the police? That, that's how I build up my legs. Yeah. Now, oh my God. Oh, one time. Uh -oh. You gotta hear this. Go ahead, baby. You. Wait, one time, I met this boy, right? And I had to go meet him. So you know us transgenders, we gotta talk our shit. <laughs> By the way, I just want to clarify, so, a man, not a boy, right? Above 18? Above. Oh, okay, okay. Because you okay. said a boy. I was like, uh-oh, Jerry. So, We're you almost know, off probation. You don't want to. <laughs> we got to talk our shit all the way back. So I put on my nice tight jeans, and mm -hmm. I did. So when I met him, he's sitting down. So he goes, hey, hi, have a seat. So when I went to sit down, and when I sat down, I came out screaming so freaking loud. He tells her, he goes, oh my God, what's wrong, you all right? I said, no, motherfucker, I just sat on my fucking nuts. What the fuck? That's what it is. <laughs> Listen, and by the, you don't have to be transgender to tuck it back, you know? I've, huh? you know we've done that before. I, mean, I love that, I, by the way, I love that, I love that my mother is here right now, and I used to be a fit, yes. And, yeah, where is she? No, right? she's over there. And I love that, yeah. I love that I, I have what a physical is? therapy degree, and I threw it all away. You know, I'm working with Homeless Pimp and T.T. Jerry. I love it. And I'm happy I'm out here that's really genuinely looking for love that's interested in T.T. Jerry because we're trying to get her a Valentine's Day date. You know, she says she wants to watch the kids. A woman. A woman? Any woman available? She's a woman. Would you like to go out with T.T.? Right. I'll be a lesbian. Okay, Why not? I don't know where you're going, but... I'll be a lesbian. Why not? Okay. Okay, what does she want? Yes! Chaz Palmitieri. <laughs> Today. Yes. Chad, 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 oh. <laughs> a 
Okay, yes. okay, yeah. All right. Uh, what do you have, a bar of soap? Huh? What is this? You wait and see. Oh, I wait and see. Okay, what is it? Is huh? it? That's for you and your girlfriend? Yeah. Oh, my God. All right, can you hurry up? Um, oh. No, it's, it's okay. A Valentine? Is that oh, really for TT? How beautiful, guys. It says TT. Oh. Necklace. That's nice. Thank you, sweetie. Oh, my God. Love you. That's nice. Love All right, you. baby. All right, good. All right. Thank you. All right, so that's good. So at least you got that for Valentine's Day. All right, we thought oh. we thought there was we, we thought that we were gonna get you a Valentine's Day. Well, but you know what, TT? You don't need to date anybody. You don't need no. to date anybody. Well, Fuck it, these guys don't want to date. I don't need to date anybody because everybody's my boyfriend girlfriend. Everybody, everybody. What it is? Come on, we'll take a quick picture. Thank you guys so much. I Thank you guys. I love you. Thank you for being a part of this. Come on. Hey, welcome to my Patreon. It's Chris Stefano, a.k.a. Chrissy Chaos, a.k.a. Chrissy in the Closet Till My Dad Dies. Welcome to the family, my friends. Welcome to the chaos. I tried to make it really simple. For $5 a month, you get audio-exclusive Patreon content. That's four audios a month. For $10 a month, you get audio and video exclusive Patreon content, those same four episodes the, that, that the audio's got. You just get the video, so that's five is audio, 10 is video. $25 a month, of course, you get everything the $5 and $10 got, but you also get an exclusive exclusive episode that is only available at the $25 level, so that's a great bonus. And then for $100, this is when you're really chaotic, you get everything the 5s, 10s, and 25s get, of course, but you also get to help me in assisting Puerto Ricans because what I do in my everyday life is I help Puerto Ricans, so now by you giving me $100 a month, you get to help Puerto Rico too, just the way Donald Trump did when he threw the paper towels in after the hurricane. Okay. Um, we made a rope chain for Jay Z once. Wow. We went down to the Diamond District. We met him. He's such a complete dick. But it's really, <laughs> yeah. Why? Yeah. Well, what we, did he do? He's very anti-Semitic. We walked in. Not no, no, no. He he never met us before. He puts in the order, whatever, or, or manager. He never met us. He walks in. He sees us walk in with our, you know, our keepers, our yarmulkes and stuff. He's like, oh, of course, you guys are making my jewelry. And I was like. Jeez. Yeah, I was like, but he said that like friendly, trying to joke around. No, nah, not even like just give me my jewelry, take this money, and leave me alone. I'm like, bro, wow, you know, like, wow, all right. it's not like we're rolling in like the NYPD. You don't gotta hate us. Like, yeah, we have nothing against you. Like, <laughs> yeah, you come out naked in your Tyvek suit for Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pitching little... tents in the Tyvek. <laughs> I accidentally bought too many tickets to the carousel, so we're gonna go walk around and ask people Chrissy Chaos trivia questions. If they get the answer right, then they get a ticket. Okay, who's, what is my transgender nanny's name? Oh, oh, I know that. <laughs> what, is my, what is my dad's nickname? I got punched for being for making fun of the kid's epilepsy when I was like sixteen, but I I, I learned my lesson. Well, the punch Somebody punch you for make, why were you making fun of their epilepsy? Which is a funny thing to make well, fun of. You're like, ah, gonna... your brain is crisscrossed. He was like, oh, I gotta find out if I'm gonna die in a week, and I was like, ah, oh, seven more days of this bullshit. <laughs> and he punched me, and I learned my lesson. It was fine. My dude, you are my daughter's ratatouille. That's what I'd say, literally. <laughs> You know, you know the movie Ratatouille. That's like what inspired me with the food. Really? No. Yeah, anyone can cook. Uh, yeah. So like, that's kind of. I was like, oh fuck, I could do that. Dude, again. what if I anyone fucking, can cook, dude, I could you're do it. so mind blowing to me because it's like you never. If I saw you, you would never. If I saw you like on the train, I wouldn't even think you spoke English because you just look. <laughs> 
Because you're just one of these. And then the fact that how deep you're, because your Italian accent, it's so, it hits me in a place where it's like, it's home. You know what I mean? Right. Like you sound exactly like my Aunt Jeanette. And I, and I love it, dude. And then you fuck it. You, dude, you're so, because you dress dope, whatever. And then you come out and you have a, like a legitimate medieval knight's haircut. It's like fucking talking to Guido Lancelot. And, and, and I, and it's, I was telling before when you down to New York Post, the likability on you, it's palpable. I can't. All I want to do is watch your videos. Oh, I appreciate that. Seriously, yeah. dude. And I, I know you're making money now because I fucking say you're using Per Plus. Uh, I could tell, dude. I'm not even going to plug my guy, you know? It's yeah. Place, though. No, dude, I'm telling you, man, because you just have, you have this look that it's just, it's insane, dude. And you look like a mob wife. And, and <laughs> it's just like, it doesn't stop with him. Like, because I was saying New York Nico is, is extremely New York because right. I said he's half Italian half uh, Jewish, he dre- he looks like he's Puerto Rican, dresses like he's black, and he sounds gay. That's New York City. Man. Where you are, you fucking, like, you literally, because I can't even pin you down, dude. You look... Right, you settled down like that, all right? No, no I, I don't even know. Because you, you dress like... It, 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 it's just... It, you, you, the vibe on you is just... It's one of those things where I was so excited to, to, to meet you, and it's almost like... You got that thing, which is um which is like not teachable where it's like people don't even know why necessary like if i said hey why do you like why do you like kush they'd be like i don't know i just like them that's what it would be I which is that. like that that's the thing though you know what i mean right. that that's what you want because that's an unteachable <laughs> thing it's like yeah dude i don't know man he's just he's just infectious with positivity right so you can't die no don't no. die early bro how old are you 25 next week you're 25 yeah. how old wow. did you think he was honestly dude yeah anywhere I- oh go ahead no Early forties. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> not, no, no, no. I'm kidding, dude. No, I, I thought, I thought, I thought maybe you were. I thought maybe you were twenty, maybe, maybe twenty eight, twenty nine. Okay. But twenty five is good. I yeah. think you could play between twenty one and thirty eight. Yes. 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 He's got. You got an ambiguous age. You know what it is? It's the fucking how you doing. Right if you got there. rid of the how you doing, you'd be. I'm a baby eight, face. Sixteen. And then you could like really see the lack of chin going right, on. Right, right. Yeah. So I gotta like keep that for like. Why? Um. Why did you um like get into cooking and going on the internet? What what was it? Was it the pandemic? So I I started with like bullshit cooking videos in college. Which, was, which what school did you go to? Dubai, uh, SUNY Newport. <laughs> Shout out SUNY Newport. Pure Shout class. Out SUNY Newport. Newport what a fucking town. <laughs> SUNY Newport. What a town. I think one of the students got killed outside the dorm room last month. I don't know. We're nothing about that. Yeah, I, I, there's true true thing. Shout out SUNY New Paltz. Shout out state schools in New York. Shout yeah, out yeah. fucking crushing it. Dude, I went to Nassau Community College. I don't. Yeah, it's, yeah, whatever. So go ahead. So you're in SUNY New Paltz. So I'm in my college apartment, you know, doing my thing, getting a little hate done. And I was like, fuck it. I'm doing these cooking videos, but I'm just sending them to my, my uh, friends on Snapchat. And they're like, bro, make a fucking page. And I'm like, hell yeah. So I made a page not to go viral, just to, you know, whatever, fuck around. And then uh, did that for like three and a half years, almost gave up on it. And then my coworkers were like, nah, nah, keep doing it. You're fucking funny, you know. Hell you yeah. That's how I'm going. And I never put my face in it. It was always just yeah. paying over with the uh, stove. And it was always like a dirty stove. It was always yeah. classless, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always kept that vibe. Yeah. And then over the summer, I did a sandwich for a view, which I never did. I was always just cooking. And yeah. I put my face in it. And it blew up on the tiktok right <laughs> and i'm like fuck that kind of felt good you know what i mean a little serotonin action yes and then uh i was like let me see if i could do that again so i did that again and it kept working and it kept working and then uh yeah i am what are you um what are you doing to adjust to adjust to the fame because you can't because it, it's a slippery slope next yeah, thing you know you're, you're cooking stuff on snapchat then you're doing lines of blow off mortadella yeah. you don't want that to happen <laughs> absolutely not you know not off mortadella at least. let me tell you maybe something. someone's sister let me tell you something you gotta absolutely um you got a fucking nose that i mean you, that you could put a lot of cocaine in that nose <laughs> and people are going to try to get you to do that and don't do that yeah, you know, no, not a good don't idea. do that, dude. Not Snort classy. fucking Sabino's cappuccinos. Wow, these things got you going for 24 Are you kidding seven. me, dude? This is literally, I'm ready to fucking go punch a priest in the face. <laughs> fucking run a marathon after You want to run a marathon? Are you, I, dude, I can't even run. Mm-hmm. It's been at least since I quit basketball, I, I don't think I've ran more than 20 seconds. You look like a guy who likes a nice cigarette, too. Eh, not really. You know, yeah. once in a blue moon, a nice marble ain't never hurt nobody. 
You know what it is about you too. What I'm really classy. You know, I like the mob lights because it's all white. So I'm like, oh, that's fucking classy. You know what's mind blowing about you is you know what you're one of the only people I've ever met that you could be from the past or the future. I don't fucking know. Yeah, yeah nobody knows. You, I got you, the hair yeah. from the seventies, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. then you know I'm like, yeah, I'm all over the place. But then it's like I don't know. Like, is this what transgender people look like forty oh. years from now? <laughs> I have no idea. You're like, you know what I mean? Like, I have no clue, dude. He's, he's from the same time, but I know he's not here right now. It's, dude, are you time travel? I'm thinking about it. Wow. <laughs> Giselle Buncha got a new man, and he's a jujitsu instructor. That's got to suck. You're Tom Brady, literally the b best football player of all time, hottie with a body, Tom Brady. And then your ex wife starts dating a jujitsu instructor who will beat your f face in. Look at this guy. And he kind of looks like a f too, but he's a jujitsu instructor. Jujitsu looks kind of dope. I want to do jujitsu. So that you think they were having sex? Do you think she had an affair on Tommy B with this guy? Can you imagine being that guy where you're hooking up with this girl and her ex is Tom Brady? I think it's I think it's worse for Tom Brady because he's a jujitsu instructor. You want to have some type of feeling that I can beat the shit out of my ex-wife's new boyfriend. Like you want to just feel like a man and back. I'll, I'll clobber him. And you, unfortunately, with jujitsu, you're going to get destroyed. But he'll break Tom Brady's arms. Hi, baby. How did you like Puerto Rico, mama? I don't want you to get cold. She was so good on the plane, too. Oh, she, yeah. I mean, she, well, she cried the whole time while I was watching a John Gacy uh, Netflix documentary. The thing is with serial killers is, like, you realize the scariest part about them is, like, everybody who knows them is like, yeah, that was the most normal guy I ever met in my life. Like, they're just doing these things. Dude, he would... Yes? Why does your head smell like cheese doodles? Is that homeless pimpy? Hi. What do you have to say to the group? I do want to give a quick RIP to Kane Tanaka, oldest woman, um, oldest person in the world, died. Uh, yes, I just want to say RIP Kane Tanaka. I'm going to have sushi today in your honor. What's up? My name's Chris. This is Records on Patreon. Let's, let's just agree that all pretty much 99% of sex in the animal kingdom is rape. It is rape. Yeah. Essentially. What, our, what a human definition of rape, it is rape. It seems like it, it must be. I'm only having sweets once a week. Um, so <laughs> my day for sweets was yesterday, Thanksgiving. I ate blueberry pie like it was fucking second. We as Thank you for all the support. Love it. And uh, we'll see what happens in Russia, Ukraine. Might be a nuclear disaster, but you better believe I'm still doing the Patreon from a nuclear winter. I'll just drop it down to 30 minutes. One of my old friends, Tommy. Should we pick it up? Yeah, why not? Tommy. What are you doing? You f <laughs> uh, just chilling, man. Just about to do my podcast. What are you doing? Playing ball or what? Yeah, when's the season start? Thursday. This Thursday? Yeah. I got to go to Seattle this Thursday. That's a problem. What about next Thursday? I'll let you know the schedule. Yeah, because I, I, I'm i playing. I'm yeah, in. I, fuck I, me. See, this is your problem. Now you're fucking famous and you're going to be a jerk. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm not famous, guy. <laughs> Get your priorities straight. It's what? basketball with 40-year-old men or... Famous. What do you want to do? I wanna no, I wanna I wanna I wanna play ball with forty year old men. <laughs> Did you work out today? Me, yeah. What'd you do? I did shoulders. What'd you do? Fucking eat Twinkies with your fat tits? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes I did. Fuck. Dude, I, I got bad again. But you still look good, right? Go for a walk in the woods, you loser. Alright, see you later. <laughs> Because of The Watcher, the last two nights, Whatever. because of seeing it, I have not been able to get up and go across the hall to my bathroom and pee. I've held in my pee all night. I'm going to get prostate cancer from this fucking show. I've been holding in my piss. Delilah, multiple times a night, gets up and pees. She took a shit the other night at like 3 o'clock in the morning and screamed, Mommy, Daddy, there's no toilet paper. And uh, Jasmine had to go bring her toilet paper because I was too scared to open the door and walk past my stairwell <laughs> where The Watcher can cr crawl out of. This is day four for me. I tested positive this morning. I have no smell, no taste. Um, I could still feel the hatred from my family. That's a sense that I'll always be able to feel, I guess. I can't smell or taste anything, but I can feel that they despise me. If you said, listen, what you have to do is get your nose up in just a homeless man's asshole and smell that for 20 minutes and then your smell and taste will come back, I would do it gladly. I'd give him a rim job just so I could get my smell and taste back. By the way, how's your dad's asshole? My dad's at, dude, my dad still, he hasn't shit since Fenway Park, which was um, July 8th. 
I don't know. COVID is this weird thing. And I, you know, the people who have went through it know where you just get like this depression that I, that, that is for sure chemical. So I always think about that. Like how mad must animals in a zoo be then? Oh, Do you realize how angry a f a, a, an ape in a, in a zoo must be? One of my friends got um, jumped and was found beaten up half dead in an alley. And somebody, and he had his phone open and somebody called one of our other friends and told him to come get him. And he was behind an alley in Phoenix. So way to go. Can dummy. we get him on? Let's, let's figure out what happened. We'll do a true crime pod. Should, should we, wait, oh, wait, oh. I heard you got beat up. What happened? Yo, I heard they found you behind an alley, cuz. What happened? I gotta go, bro. But what? Just tell me quick. What happened? I don't know. You woke up in an alley bleeding. I don't know, bro. I woke up with a bloody nose and a bubble in my forehead. In an alley. In the alley. You guys. All right, like <laughs> fucking high. Oh my God, savages. Savages, and he's in the police department. <laughs> I swear to God. Uh. All right, what's up, everybody? I'm Chrissy Capitals. Um, it, behind me is the Capitol. Last time I was here was January 6th. And um, I'm gonna go inside and see if I could sniff AOC's seat. If she's there, I'm gonna ask her to please stand up and I can sniff her seat. No, I'm kidding. Listen, <laughs> that, those two girls just walked by me and were disgusted. Well, I'm disgusted with you. Um, put on a mask. Um, I, uh, this is great. I don't even know anything about the Capitol, though, to be honest with you. Like, are the senators in there now? Like, who's in there? Why do we have it? What's the difference between the US House of Representatives, the Congress? Like, I don't know, dude, who did I vote for? Like, where do they storm? I want to know where they stormed. I don't know, dude. I want to storm the Capitol with Stormy Daniels. We're right in front of the Capitol. I'm Chrissy Insurrections. Um, this, to be honest, dude, it's kind of weird being here. Like, I can see now how, like, all these people got in here and scaled the wall. Um, it's fucking wild, dude. Like, I'm actually like, shit. This is, I mean, it's nuts. I'm going to come back January 6th just because I want to see what it's all about. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just want to feel what, like, cause now that I'm now that I'm here and feeling it, I am having FOMO. That I wish I would have just been here, cause I, on on TV it didn't look that cool. Look, like, but now I'm here. I'm like, yo, this is. Hopefully we get to do it again. If you do it again, join me, ChristyComedy.com. Give us your email. We'll tell you where we'll be next. Can I? Is that? Can I, will I get flagged? For, I mean, I'm obviously just kidding around. If the government, if you're watching this, like I'm genuinely joking. Just can I get in trouble for that? Watch Pimp cuts it out. He cuts out me saying that. He, yeah. he extorted me for 500 grand just to get that clip so I could get out of jail. <laughs> great. You like jail too much. I know, Time dude. To come out. I know, dude. Well, it's great. It's, bro, I got the fucking going to jail starter kit with T.T. Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> this is sick. This is the capital of the entire country. I love this country. <laughs> Legitimate? This is the best capital of every country. I, I bet you this is the best capital in any country, dude. This is better than the Taj Mahal. This is our Taj Mahal right here. Is the Taj Mahal the capital of India? What's the capital of India? <laughs> I don't know. Bombay, Sapphire or something? Taj Mahal's where they like, buried like a, a queen or some shit. <laughs> That's where we're going to bury our queen, T.T. Jerry. <laughs> right underneath the capital where she belongs. Is there anybody more American than T.T. Jerry? I'm going to come back here when she gets inaugurated as our first trans president. I asked you, Sergio, about the Pride Parade, and you said you were ambushed by it. <laughs> what did you mean by that? I, mean, I, I had no idea there was going to be a parade. So I was 18 years old, working at Petland Discounts. You, is that when you had all 10 fingers, or did you have nine and a half? <laughs> yeah, I had 10. Yo, show, show your finger. <laughs> Yo, look at that finger. That's whack. Yo, so I was I was on 6th <laughs> Avenue and 8th Street. <laughs> but yeah, and the, 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 the Pride Parade, like in the 90s. I'm like, oh, shit. Did and I'll never forget how how many gerbils they bought. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, gay gay men make me feel better than fentanyl. I love I love Gay, the attention I get from gay men, I mean, bro, there's been so many times where I've been having like a fat day and T.T. Jerry will come over to like watch the kids and he'll be like, ooh, you get him big, poppy. You lifting weights, you strong. And then, and then she'll be like, jazz man. She'll be like, look at how big your man is. And I'm like, oh, thanks. As I mean, as I have, as I have muffin, muffin uh, crumbs in my fucking belly button. There's no, the thing is, there's no cure for a pedophile. So the thing is, is unfortunately, that you have to go. And so if they were just gone, if you eradicated that, maybe something worse would pop up, but at least for at least temporarily, the children would be okay. 
I think we should maybe just get them with Elon Musk and send them to Mars. Have them kind of have them colonize Mars or put them in the front lines of all the wars because it's like one of those things. That, I don't think they're good at war. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I know. Unless yeah. <laughs> well, unless the army had unless the army had child soldiers. You know, they leave one child in the middle of the battlefield. Yeah, but I just think. How do you think the media would cover a genocide of pedophiles? I think positive. I think positive. <laughs> I think I think Fox News um, would be the one uh, really championing it because CNN is a network of pedophiles. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> like 12 years old, so my friends were already killing guys. I was slow. Yeah, yeah. And Interesting. I was very slow. That's different than the 12-year-olds today. Yeah. <laughs> Most of them have nut allergies. And, you know, other people say I left the milk in the trunk. We leave a body in the trunk. So. <laughs> yeah. You would love to be tied up in John A. Light's trunk. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Good question from Homeless Fam. Hey, that's really a good question, actually. <laughs> I ain't kidding, actually. <laughs> actually, I did. I said. <laughs> and now the CDC keeps readjusting their things. They're like, oh, now actually the amount of people that died from COVID had four or five comorbidities and this and that. So it's like, in reality, COVID probably didn't kill as many. I mean, you might have killed more people than COVID. <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> but you, you don't look over your shoulder anymore, right? None of that. No, oh, you, me and you. Can you stop my call later? <laughs> <laughs> oh my You're going to get the vaccine? Did you get the vaccine? <laughs> no, no. There is a practice that maybe you've heard of. It's called gratitude. Do you ever sit down and think of... <laughs> oh, oh. All right, ChristyComedy.com for all my ticky wikis. Hackers interrupt people having sex, leave, leave them, them naked, naked in the, the streets. streets. That's, that's hilarious. That's so funny. Imagine you're like cheating on your wife with that. That would <laughs> suck. You have to come they, home butt naked. You get naked. carjacked. Yeah, you, I would just be like, I was all on bath salts. But I mean, what, do you finish? Do you guys still f Yeah, you, you well. gotta. I would try to drop on the carjacker, at least try to <laughs> spray him. Oh, yeah, steal my shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just hit him. This is Guppy, by the way, the new goldfish. Um... He is uh, queer, um, which we found out. He doesn't eat um, his goldfish food. He doesn't like it, but uh, I did come in the bowl last night and he ate all that up. We do feel his fins are turning black. We've listened to all your advice on the community board. I just, I'm, a, I'm the John Wayne Gacy of goldfish. I kill them, I tie them up, I, I sodomize them, and that's what it is. And I flush them down the toilet, just like JWJ. Who do you got in a fight, JWG or RBG? Right in the community board. Or that we saw each other and she was like, you going up? And I was like, no. <laughs> just sitting there sweating. I'm, once again, just watching. Just <laughs> Dude, I actually got to run. Just do the pod. Just do, do another yeah, we need like 10 more oh, minutes. This is the stupid little podcast now. All right, We're all right, leaving. Please. Okay, bye. Good luck with your diarrhea. All yeah. right. Let's say hello with some headlines. What do you think? Right. Sure. Let's start talking about some shit. Okay. Here you go. Elon Musk plans to spend thousands of people to Mars to colonize it. Um, I can't wait until the comments are. Yeah, we turned it off soon as Chris left. <laughs> I mean, this is insane. Isn't this insane? What are we doing? How much time do we have left? Yeah, 10 minutes? Chaos. We need as 10 minutes. Time, yeah. Yeah. Chaos? This doesn't feel like chaos. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about shit. Really show my comedic abilities. Well, you here. hosted a solo pod, so Sean. Oh God! Some of the segments in that pod. The segments were try to do an hour without yawning. <laughs> That's how you know it's like uh, when you you got a boring podcast when you're yawning halfway through, and I'd be doing. I would also skip weeks and stuff. It had to go. All right, let's do another one. I guess. Is this what the podcast is? He Chris Chris texts me and he goes, he goes. Uh, 
what did he say? He goes, hey, can you make it here? He's like, hey, we're going to aim for like 12, 15, 12, 30. And I go, oh, okay. And then he goes, hey, can you make it here at like 12? Because my daughter has to uh, go to the hospital or something like that. And I'm like, oh, my God. So I'm on the Staten Island Ferry, like rushing, sweating, being like his daughter's going to die because of me. <laughs> All right, Trump flushing <laughs> papers, photos alleged, and now I'm like in Pete Davidson's house, <laughs> struggling to, struggling to keep a, a, a podcast going because <laughs> I just keep seeing all of the people. You know what I've been doing lately? I've been fighting with people in my comments Why? section. Why? What are you going on about? I've always had a fascination with Asian culture. And I could tell. I knew. I knew that about you. Yeah. It's very. If you if you said, "Look at this man," what's the first thing you think of? I said, "He likes Asian women's feet." <laughs> not, <laughs> not feet, but Asian women in general are very are spectacular. Hey, yo. I believe in an afterlife. This is the future of trans. My name's Chris Sliwa, and I'm running for mayor. <laughs> I have to ask, just because it's so prevalent in our times, what would you do if you're in the middle of a lecture and there's a school shooting in your classroom? What do you do? <laughs> you thought I was feeling you? No. S seriously, my first two days, they put me in isolation. And they used hydroxychloroquine on me, and that saved me. I'll tell you the truth. I had put myself on... <laughs> I had put <laughs> Our fans are like this. You see? Yeah. Right. You see? It could have saved thousands of lives. But I collect people. When I see people who I think... <laughs> oh, oh edit that into a clip. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no context. I collect people. I collect people. <laughs> um, North Koreans jump into the water to reach Kim Jong-un's boat. What happened, Kim Jong... <laughs> no, that's amazing. Look at them just jumping into the water going crazy. What? A, you have to give it to the North Korean leader of... of look at He's got grown men in military uniforms crying, freezing their... <laughs> Korean d off because the, the because he showed up in a robot with the Korean flag. You gotta you gotta give it up. I would say this. I will piggyback on a Kanye how Kanye West what Kanye West said about Joe Biden. I'm gonna say the North Korean army are <laughs> okay. If you're running into the water, <laughs> look at what a bunch of <laughs> assholes these people are. All right, welcome to the Chris and Eddie show. I took an edible about 45 minutes ago. Vinny does not know. I took it. What's up? You want a blowjob? <laughs> Would you I clean Trump's I'll, house? I'll clean his fucking asshole. Yeah, what would you do with an alien? I'll fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh what? Would I'll you be, actually really? I'll be the first motherfucker who fucked the alien. T.T. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Jerry was the first one to fuck an alien. T.T. Jerry walked through my, pr you know, pretty private, oh. relatively uppity block with a goatee and tits. Okay. I love you. You look beautiful <laughs> today. You look beautiful. I was high on acid. I was looking at my brother-in-law, Adam, and his whole face looked like a pancake. You know, <laughs> Tips for people visiting New York. Staten Island Ferry, great way to see the city, great photos, and great way to see seafaring homeless people. All right, we're on the Staten Island Ferry, the busiest ferry in the world. The Staten Island Ferry was actually used in the Civil War. Uh, it was like a gunboat in the Civil War. Um, and I wonder what it'll be used for in the Civil War that we're gonna have in probably two to three years. We did it, we did it, Joe. The Statue of Liberty, um, gift to us from France. Nobody knows what's underneath that dress. I had a friend who said he would exclusively <laughs> to the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> he found her hot. Yeah, the st uh, statues, by the way, the statue's a shit gift from a country. You gave me a statue. That's like me giving you a scratch-off. The ferry will be docking shortly. Oh, For your safety, somebody else will be docking shortly, to too. Upstairs, Maybe in the men's bathroom. So I'm on the Rebel scooter, and I'm going through Burger King, and uh, there are these kids in, this par in the parking lot. What's, what's funny about that? Your life is funny. What's yeah, funny just, about that? That's good. By the I, way. I literally look up your all the way. Here's, here's, here's just what's great about you just said that. Benetia, our producer, who's a beautiful woman, laughed in your face. <laughs> so now you're just laying there feeling fat and yeah. disgusting. In and the you're worst like, position, And you're getting a, a hot girl to be like, ha, 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 ha. I don't care. You Virgin. I don't care. I'm, I don't care. I don't care about that. Because that's a part of my charm. She's laughing now, but once I leave, she's going to go, there's something about that guy. Yeah, she's going to be like, there was something. I think he cropped us when he left. 
<laughs> Your first time you had was with a condom. That, yeah. that doesn't count. Yeah, but I like, before I had I like off into a condom. Joe, would you say that you have bangs? <laughs> Would that qualify for bangs? What's the how down your forehead do you have to have to have bangs? Because I'm I think they it, have to curl is, a bit. Because if they are bangs, then you I think are one of the best looking men I've ever seen who can rock bangs. Bangs, bangs are strands of locks of hair that fall over the scalp's front hairline to cover the forehead, usually just above the eyebrows, though can range to various lengths. Yeah, I would I say have a, you have a short, short bang, bangs. a short bang. <laughs> Kanye West now, because it's very possible. Yeah. If he becomes available and wants to do the basement yard, are you going to have, would you have Kanye West as a guest? Because Joe, I'm telling you, it is very, very possible <laughs> that he would be willing and able to do your show. Would you have him on? Uh, hey, you know it. Ah! Wait a minute. Bella Hadid revealed to fans that she has cried almost every day and every night for the past few years. What is wrong with her? I don't even know why this is a headline. Isn't All that right. the girl that dates the weekend? Mental health and chemical imbalances. Not everything can mental health now just because it's like trendy who's mentally healthy nobody dude genuinely nobody i mean listen i don't know what's going on in bella hadid's life and i'm sorry she's that she's 25 and she's, beautiful exactly Shut 20, up. Yeah, i don't know dude i'd be crying tears of joy every day too if i was getting fucked by the weekend <laughs> you guys would look good together yes <laughs> they're all mentally ill what do you think's going on here dude we're mentally ill who knows what earth is earth might be purgatory for the mentally ill this might be a holding cell you might be in solitary confinement in the afterlife right now and it's earth dude when i get on novocaine i get deep <laughs> this is the chris and eddie show my mouth is numb i don't know dude i'd be crying tears of joy every day too if i was getting fucked by the weekend Honestly, I feel so like legitimately safe in a Puerto Rican flag. When I just closed my eyes, I genuinely thought my feet were on the ceiling. Do you think Russia will hire a female general or a general that's a bear first? <laughs> uh, I think conquering my fears emotionally is something that I want to get to, but like I don't I couldn't care less if I ever jump out of a plane. Truthfully, I couldn't. Also, like I, I couldn't care at all if I ever went on a safari. And I, I'm going to go to Africa on my own terms. I don't want to go to a safari. <laughs> I just want to give a quick shout out to Punch's Pilot and say, F*** you, dude. Seriously, man. I just want to say, suck it. Suck my ass, Punch's Pilot. It's because of you. You listen to the people because you're a weak, soft fuck, And then Jesus got killed. But also, thank you because you gave us Easter. And I love the peeps. Trans people are my friends. Transphobe gonna catch these hands. Trans people are my friends. I was, he lost. He lost a hundred dollars because he bet that I was gonna be a girl. Well, I, I'm pretty much a, that. I, I should have won because you are. You, you are gay. -ish. I was born. I was born tucked back. Was there ever a time you were actually worried he was gay? Chris was gay. Of course. What was I, the first age where you're like a uh, seven? <laughs> when I was seven, and also when I was seven, you thought I was gay, and I also had high cholesterol. I was the only seven-year-old. <laughs> yeah. Didn't I have high cholesterol? <laughs> it's, it's true. It's true. Really? It's true. I was the all. Yeah. Right. I had right. high cholesterol. Right. At seven years old. Did you have to go in like a seven-year-old cholesterol yeah, I, diet. Yeah. Well, I was on Lipitor when I was seven. <laughs> Well, and your mother and I said, we think he's gay. My mother said that too? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. I said, no, nah, he, can't, he can't be gay. He's not going to kill me that way, is he? Uh, what do you think about aliens being real? Oh, yeah. It feels yes, like I believe. I believe that. Oh. Chrissy D gets it in, man. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Clip it. Williamsburg yeah. area, there's all these hipsters up there, you know, like Coffee doing protests. And and yeah. COVID-19 sites. And, you know, and meanwhile, down below, they're just making gold. These just yeah. people are, and it's mostly Jewish industry you're saying the making yeah, the gold it, it's it's owned all by jews and it's run like you know the workers are like from south america you know cheap labor it's like a farm but with wow. metal but they have to keep their um, mouths shut i'd imagine right like yeah they things, do they like do. they can't they must be told they're like they're wearing you nothing can't tell under anyone. their tyvek suits so yeah. that they're way naked. they have Wait, they're naked there yeah, yeah you see they're not wearing t-shirts under it. the suits they, step up to the neck they have to be naked i'm pretty sure they do what's mm. the reason for that is that just it's, a freaky deaky owner sure you don't steal anything yeah god it's so many places you can put gold after you're naked i mean Pretty sure you still try, but I was gonna say I would shove it right up my dick hole. <laughs> oh God, no! I, I, <laughs> yeah, to think this is why the world hates us. Yeah, like um, we don't hate it at this podcast, though we don't. That's good. That's Outside good. this, anti-Semitism yeah. is bad. Yes, just think but, of uh, this as little Israel. <laughs> yeah. Like five drinks and three shots. 
Yeah. Y- yeah. You were That's doing work. My Jazz- favorite was I turned around and Jasmine was running her fingers through some woman's hair. I know. She was like borderline <laughs> being, she was being like a full lesbian last Maybe night. Maybe I was. I don't no, remember No, you were that being part. like fully gay. It like was I was like, playful. do you want to go to a gay bar? Like, what are you doing? And she goes. But I wasn't let in the bar. Five yards from B bar, she falls. Fully falls <laughs> on the floor. Like in front of everyone, falls down on the floor. I was like, oh my God. And you're like, oh my God, oh my God. So then you, you go like, I need to. <laughs> You go, I need to, you go, I need to take my shoes off. And I was like, Ew. Jazz, I was like, Jazz, we can get to the room. You go, I have to take my shoes off. So then you're like, take them off. You're not even helping me. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my God, like this is so like annoying. We're right in front of, like people are recognized. Somebody walked by and go, this is why you should be with TT Jerry. Oh my right? God. It was so, we're not going to leave AC unless we do it my way. She's like, you're going to have a Jasmine night. And what was that? We sit down at a fucking slot machine and she made me put in $20, $20 into a slot machine. She pressed three buttons. We lost all my money in about 10 <laughs> seconds. Welcome to the Chris and Eddie show. Thank you so much. About to take this Eddie right here. Here we go. Here we go. Elon Musk challenges Vladimir Putin a single combat with the stakes being the nation. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, is Elon Musk the best? If I was Elon Musk, I would never in a million years pull out. I'm not Elon Musk and I still don't pull out. (laughs) Bro, if I was Elon Musk though, woo. Bro, imagine Jazz gets pregnant again. What would you do if she's pregnant again? I don't try to try to get Magic Spoon on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Magic Spoon, bro. Go chaos. War really is just like one man's ego. Like think about the countless lives that could be saved if Putin and Biden just fist fought. Dude, I am smacked. What if George Washington sounded and acted exactly like Trump, but we got no proof that he did it? Dude, this, I am. I have to pick up my kids. I think the only way that I can even have is a fucking muffin. And my tongue doesn't really, uh, it doesn't have the um, endurance because it's so short. Like I, oh. I, I, all my friends, when I we were teenagers, everyone went and got their tongue pierced and I was going to do it. I was brave enough to do what? it. What? Yeah. And then the tongue guy. Wait went, a minute. Yeah. All your guy friends got their tongue pierced? It was a big thing. Me too. You, you did, did it too? I, I did not. Almost all my guy friends did. What what happened there? I mean, I was on metal bands, so I've kind of been leaning towards that crowd. That's um, weird. I, Jimmy, I, I, you kind of look like John Travolta. Did anyone ever tell you that? This yeah. Is... Do people tell him that all the time? Not recently, but... But I mean like a in-shape, good-looking... <laughs> Thank you. Young. What, what did Gad say? You said you look like uh, Alec Baldwin? No, it was Bill Maher. Bill Maher yeah. said yeah. it. Because yeah. yeah. John Travolta Alec now looks like if you and Joe had a baby. That's yeah. what John Travolta looks like right now. <laughs> If we just put John's face on Joe's head. First of all, every time I go down on a woman, I get a sore throat. So that Always? Pretty much exclusively. Why don't you put like a Ricola in your mouth before you do it? I've tried everything. I also have a short tongue. <laughs> it, this is, so, All right, here we are. I want to give a shout out to Mr. Wynn to giving me the best suite with the best view in Vegas of the Trump Hotel, all in gold. Uh, T.T. Jerry said it looks like a nice golden cock. Um, and uh, that's what she wants, is she wants to find a nice golden boy um, because she said Trump's a golden boy. And tonight we're going to do a show uh, at the Encore Theater. Then we have dinner at Cipriani's. Then you, there go, everyone else is going to a club. I'm going to In-N-Out Burger. You know, so we woke up this morning, and um, I needed to get the Patreon episode done, so... Pimps gave me a edible and I got smacked and all I wanted to do was go to sleep and like dream and like talk to my mom and stuff. And Jasmine and TT made me go to the pool and they were just shaking their asses down at Encore Beach Club. Um, and then we just got really hungry and I just ate. Uh, they told me I had a $250 food and beverage minimum a day and I just spent $400 on lunch. <laughs> this is what my thighs look like. This is my leg and thigh. They did. This is all it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be, I could already tell, I'm going to have mad fun tonight with the crowd. Like, I know I'm going to have mad fun tonight with the crowd, and they're going to hate me. <laughs> you just feel drunk idiots. Honestly, tonight's the kind of night, like, I'll just be honest and open. I don't really feel like doing comedy. I kind of just want to hang out in Vegas and, like, step away from comedy for, like, two months because I just feel so burnt out by it. So I may just do 30 minutes and bring TT up. Why not? Look at TT. She... She took the, the bed sheets and made a, a black wedding dress. Beautiful. God. I love it, TT. How long have you been getting ready for? I've been getting ready like for about almost two hours. Two hours? How, how do you like Vegas so far? Vegas is amazing. 
Every, everywhere I go is amazing, it's beautiful, and I'm so grateful for everywhere I go. Because I've never been nowhere else but Brooklyn, New York, and upstate prison. So now everywhere I go, starting with my new life, is such a blessing to me, and I'm in love with myself now, I'm in love with the world, I'm in love with Trump, which is right there. <laughs> Are you are you wearing a black? You look like you're wearing a black wedding dress because you get married to the night. I'm wearing a black wedding dress because I'm gonna ask somebody in the audience whoever wants to marry me tonight. Oh shit! I'm marrying somebody tonight. That's why I'm wearing this. I hope they don't let me down. Well, you dress for a funeral though. Huh? <laughs> yeah, because I'm gonna kill a motherfucker. <laughs> uh, okay. Nice. Why are you dressed like you're going to a funeral? Because I'm thinking of going to your funeral. TT told me my shirt looked like shit for this show tonight. What? Is this the shirt? Yeah. What? Uh, it's from Lulu. It? It's from Lululemon. I mean, there's a little water stain. You got stain there. Yeah, but that's that's no, that's from uh, because I put it on. I, I didn't dry myself properly when I got out of the shower. <laughs> I feel bloated from drinking like, seltzers. So, like somebody told me um the other day, um I t he I, I told him he calls me and I tell him. Oh, I was just in a funeral. He goes, oh my God, who died? I said, my feelings for you, motherfucker. Yo! <laughs> pew, 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 pew. <laughs> who loves Trump? Oh my God, because that's my motherfucking man. Trump is my motherfucking man. Clip and it. If I have to marry Trump and suck his motherfucking ass, I will suck his motherfucking ass. And I'll be owning that building right there. <laughs> 20, uh, 2024. 2024. You are friends. Come here. 2024. Yeah. Ah. Don't let me fall. Ah. 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 Oh my God. Nice, man. Your dress smells like vape. <laughs> Bye. Get out. Bye. How was is, how is TT getting ready? How's that process been? I don't know, man. I fell asleep for two hours. Yeah, you took a good nap. I had, I had that to. Me, I, I am so tired from last night, jumping and dancing and what doing you do all last that night? shit. Dancing all night. I was dancing all night. Me and you were dancing Who, too. You, what band did you sing? Um, Two Smoke. No. Smoke. <laughs> oh, look. Look, 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 look. Chain smoke. Yeah, chain smoke. Chain no relation smoke. to smoke. <laughs> I've seen chain smoke. Yo, that shit was lit, right? <laughs>
Oh, look. They made the tissues seashells. They knew I had allergies. How cute. So they did that. Look at that. How cute is that? Hey, guys. Oh, look. Here's a black guy for you. Do you like that? Sammy no, Davis Jr.? I like Sammy Davis. Why don't you like hey, Sammy Davis guys, Jr.? <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's what he would want. Frankie Blue Eyes. Yeah. I have to wear a jacket and a sweatshirt because I'm fat, unfortunately. You think this makes me look fatter? Let me see. Do I look, do I look fatter like this? Look, this or this? Hmm. I mean, I don't know. I like a coat. I like a coat too. I like a coat too because I, I just I have know. under tit. Coat's better than a hoodie. Yeah, this is, and a leather jacket's cool. It's just it's so hot. It's ninety three degrees. God, ugh. Oh, look at this. Battle to the death. With the wind. <laughs> oh, this is the wind homeless pimp. Who wins? The wind homeless pimp or the regular homeless pimp? You know what I think it is? I think because I've never performed in Vegas, you've performed here a lot. Like, this is like Atlantic City to me, where I would tell you, with Atlantic City, it was like, who cares about Atlantic City? But that's how you feel about this. Like, I just. Yeah, but Atlantic City was like syphilis. This, this, is, this is like actually a nice place to perform. Right. Right? That place is Scumbag City. That's 100%. Shitty Tattoo City. Yeah. That's Shitty Tattoo City. That's where O'Connor got, you know, tell him, Connie. What'd what you happened? Get? What'd you get in Atlantic City? I got a hooker. You got a hooker? Yeah. They don't have those and here. she called the room and Andrew picked up the phone. <laughs> she called the room and she said, Christopher, the payment didn't go through. <laughs> and I pretended like I didn't know it was a hooker and I was like, I think it's for you. No, he was so mad and hungry that he didn't even have time. To, he just, he just literally went like, he was. He, we were late leaving, like we were late checking out, so he was already pissed. And then he came into my room and was like, "Yo, dude, let's fucking go." Daddy was hungry. And I'm like slowly putting like pants on and shit. And, and then, and then the phone rings, and I'm like, "Oh no!" And he thinks it's the front desk being like, "Get out of our hotel." So he picks it up mad. And just on the other end of the line is a, you know, lady of the night being like, Chris, you owe me some money. <laughs> and he just, he just, he, he looked at me and was just like, dude, just, I don't know what that is. And like walked away and just like paced around. And then it literally didn't come up again until we left the room, went oh down God. in the elevator. Right. I was also. We're in the car. No, no. It was after you took a the first bite of the sandwich that you oh, bought that's right. that's and you right. finally were like satiated and you went Who the fuck called the room and I just I, I just I just gave it up I was like I got a hooker last night I, I, I just, <laughs> and I was like I know I knew it was a hooker but I was playing dumb because I was like who was that what did she want what didn't go through yeah, yeah. I knew it was a hooker but I was playing stupid because I knew when she goes Chris the car didn't go through and I was like I the room is on my name, under my card. It's not the room. Dude, I'll never forget the face that you made when you're just like, you gotta answer that. Yeah, yeah, just... No, I think you used Zell. Didn't you use a paper? I was using Zell. Yeah, you yeah. used Zell. By but way, her, her account was so corrupt. What'd you put as payment? Like, like food No, delivery. Zell, Zell. Zell's like PayPal or... Yeah, yeah, you just have to put like a note? No, I didn't have to put a note. They were just like, they, it wouldn't go through because right. that, they like, Cash App had blocked their account. I've never gotten a hooker. I've never, I've never gotten a hooker. Look at this phone. Yeah, right. I never have been with a hooker. Someone is blowing it up. You never been with a hooker? Zero. What about, I've been what about her? Never. never. I've been with plenty of hookers. You've been with a hooker? Seriously? What happens Who's, in Vegas stays in Vegas. You've been with a hooker for real? <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> No. Have you ever with a hooker, Jerry? I have. Jerry has, with Jerry a, has. I have with a male hooker. I've never been with a hooker, but I was a hooker. <laughs> Who the hell are you? I was a hooker in prison. I never been with a hooker, but I was a hooker. I, no, I never been with a hooker, but I was a hooker. Well, I was a hooker. H O O K A. Hooker. 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 How long were you a hooker for? Did you make good money? Um, a box of chicken. A box of chicken. A box of chicken. That's some good hooking, baby. Was it good chicken? Um, um, go out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah all right, go, me... get on stage. All right, we'll come on. on stage. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck! Jazz, what are you going to do? Jazz. 
Are you going to stay there? You going to stay there? Okay. Okay. Got to put the jacket on. Let's go, you fat piece of shit! God, he's doing crowd. He's doing great crowd work. This is his hometown. Is this the stage? Is that like the woman who they based Snow White off of? You know that woman that 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 uh, Hedy Lamar? Is oh, yeah. that Hedy Lamar? Dude, there's so much history here. Do musicians bomb, or it's like impossible for a musician to bomb? Because that's what it is with comedy. It's like always like this idea of like if they don't laugh and then you're just embarrassed, sweating up there. It's just annoying. But like musicians. If you're not having a good show and you're like a famous musician, you can always be like, you guys want to hear this? And the crowd will go nuts and you just play that. Yeah, but opening acts bomb. Hard. Hard. Now, bomb meaning like nobody is listening to them. Nobody's listening. People are actively screaming, where's the headliner? <laughs> You've seen that? Every single music festival. And they have to do their... They have to do their set. Which is what, an hour in music? Uh, opener, maybe... Just like 25 minutes, 20 minutes. Wow. So you've seen openers have to do songs to full booze. I've seen people jumping around shirtless to songs no one's paying attention to, and they're screaming, who do you think you are? <laughs> <laughs> That's a bomb. Yeah. Oh, God, why is my flashlight on? What are you doing after the show tonight? We're going to Cipriani's to eat some food, even though I'm not hungry. And then Jazz and TT want to go out to 4 o'clock in the morning, and I can't think of anything I want to do less. I want to go do my show, watch whatever's re left of the NCAA games, and go to fucking bed. And then I just I actually just want to go home. I'd like to just go home and just go s softly pedal my assault fitness bike. Or I'd like to go to the Badass Academy. Comedy broke Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, I remember once on the news during the height of the pandemic, they're like, well, they're running out of beds in Idaho. I was like, who gives a fuck at all? What do they have, potatoes? I mean, we're keto now, sweetie, so we don't need your carbs. No, thanks. No. Yeah, Chris is, Chris is freaking out because, you know, it's not all the way sold out. But, like, why would it be sold out for some piece of shit from fucking Staten Island? It's like, what do you expect? You're a scummy fucking loser from Staten Island. Yeah, they're not gonna come out in Vegas, but for me, I'm sold out, and I sold out again, and again, and again. Sluts. <laughs> I have a member, you know, I have a, one of my little cousins, he says he's, he's trans. He's like, I'm gonna be the first member of our family to be trans. I'm like, really? I've been tucking my dick and balls back since 1999, so <laughs> shut up, you know? Everyone wants to be a fucking pioneer, dude. I've been fucking Buffalo billing it for a long time. Yeah, Harriet Tuckman. Showtime for TT. It's showtime, let's go. I'm gonna give it to a homeless person. Ah! Ah! You okay, baby? Get your butt, shake it off. Something always happens. <laughs> you have a dog? You have a dog, sir? You have a dog? What kind of dog? Doberman. Not Doberman? Wow, nice, nice little fucking Nazi dog, you piece of shit. <laughs> Whoa, he's got a Hitler, Hitler's favorite animal. <laughs> oh my God, what? Are you Mexican? Oh my, really? Oh wow, he he's Mexican. Uh, <laughs> this guy is like, holy shit. Caesar, what's your name? What is? Manuel. Wow, even crazier than Caesar. I like it. You upped it. That's what Vegas is about, making it even more, upping the ante. Nice. Manuel. I like it. I like your name, Manuel. It's a good name. It's a good name. I, um, so you have a dog. You have, yeah. I just, we had to put my dog uh, down recently. I had to just fucking kill it. Do you want me to hold the thing for you? Yeah. How did TT make this outfit? Did you witness it? 
That's all, that, that's my clothes, all of it. <laughs> yeah. She invented it herself. You suck, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're on a time crunch. Listen, we had fun. I did edibles this morning. I've been out of my fucking mind. Let me tell you something right now. Manuel, you listen. Let, yes, let me ask you a question. Manuel, are you single? You're not single? Well, let me tell you something. After tonight, you might be. Because I want to introduce somebody to you right now. And you're exactly her fucking type, okay? This lady, if you listen to Chrissy Kaya's podcast, she's been a staple for the last year. She, today is one of her first days off probation. T.T. Jerry, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Look at T.T. Yeah. There you go. There you go, baby. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, my God. You guys look amazing. Yes. I wow. like it. Oh, my God. I am so happy to be here and see every one of you guys. It's a, it's a dream come true. Nice. Yes. I love it. Yes. Yes, so baby. Good. You look beautiful. Look at this in your black dress. So now this, like this is actually, I swear to God, I think, what is this? This is the tablecloth at the, at the win, right? <laughs> Isn't it? Didn't you take it from the hotel and cut it? I just took the, the, the tablecloth from the fucking Didn't she table really cut it? Isn't that true? And wrapped it up. No, what is that actually from? That's from the hotel. I saw you guys no, were cutting shit up. This is mine. I bought this. Nice. What a I mess. I like it. What a mess, huh? No, baby. Anyway. Oh my God, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's stuck on your dress. Titi. Anyway. All right, babe, so here's the thing. All We're right, in wait. Vegas. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh my Sorry. God. Oops. <laughs> anyway. You mean poops? <laughs> let me tell you, there was this guy, right? Uh oh. That he's been bothering me for the longest. He was my boyfriend, you know. Is his so, name Manuel or no? No. Okay. No, Manuel, no. Okay. So I've been trying to get rid of him. So the other days he calls me and calling me and calling me. So he tells me I pick up the phone. So he tells me, Yeah, I've been calling you. Where have you been? I said, Oh my God, I've been in a funeral. He goes, oh my God, who died? I say my feelings for you. Yeah! <laughs> yes. That's what happens, Manuel. Oh. Yes. Anyway, Baby. Anyway, okay. as you guys know, this is Vegas. Oops, stop it. Stop looking under my dress. You, right there. Want to see a little cock and balls? <laughs> little surprises. Well, anyway, as you know, I'm in Vegas. Anything that happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, right? All Not right. COVID. Um. So today, <laughs> I'm looking for somebody that's willing to come up to the stage, oh my woman God. or man, and marry me just for the night. Wow! They want to get who's married? Willing, who's willing to come up to the stage? Well, well come up on. here then if you love me. Come up here. Come up here. Come up here. Look at this guy. Yes. Look, wow. Look at him. Look at this guy. Hey, hold on. Okay, hold on. Turn around. Turn around. Here we go. Here we go. Here, here he is. This is Elliot Page on steroids. Here I am. Hi, TT. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, wow, you have a very boyish look. I like it, dude. You're freaking me out because you have the face of a baby. But you look like... You have the same... Wow, you got it. Look at TT. It's like a nice, nice... Uh, I thought you wanted a black man, you told me in the hotel. I don't want a black man. You, you want, want this guy? Okay, let's ask him some questions Come first. On. No, but Ready? hey, let me tell you something. Because it's very important to me. I feel, like, I feel like you're my daughter. I'm giving you away. I have to make sure this is the right man. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Yeah. She, she already has a ring on. Oh, no. That's okay, we got that in a vending machine. Um, 
Let me ask you a question, sir. I have one question for you. Do you have Bitcoin? Of course. Yes, uh, he's in. Yes. Yeah. Really? Did I? Honestly, Chrissy Bitcoin got me going. Here I am. I lost a lot of money, but you know. There you go, dude. I fucking like what you're about. I can't figure you out. I don't know. I don't know if you're, if you're, if you're in shape, out of shape, tall, short, uh, young, old, gay, straight. Or I don't fucking know what's happening. You're about to pass out? What? No, no, no. Oh, you're so nervous? No, this, on, no, the, no. Here, turn around, turn around it. to the crowd. Come turn on, around ready? to the crowd. Do you really? Um, is, there, is there a pastor here? Anybody? Does anybody know? Are you? Do you know how to do a wedding? Do you know how to do it? Come on, get over here. Come on, get over here. Is somebody, does, is somebody actually like a legal, can somebody, is somebody an ordained minister? Give Manuel. Manuel, Manuel. doesn't speak English. Um, <laughs> Are you? Come on, get over here then. Come get in. On. He can come on. Come but you have to, you have to, you have to fucking go you. onto the stage like he did. I like, love you and I love like everybody. Like lesbian Spider-Man. I love you. Huh? Are you, do you know, have you married someone before? Okay, come on. Oh! What a show, folks. Okay, what's your name? Tyler Marlowe. Nice, Tyler Marlowe. Nice to meet you, Tyler Marlowe. I like what you're about. I will say Nevada has a couple of requirements, and I don't think I have those, but... What are the requirements? Like a letter of good standing, and... I'll fucking write it. <laughs> I, think we're, I think we're good. Then we're good, right, dude. We're good, okay, we're gonna marry him. What's, what's your name? This is Tom, and, and what's your name? Tyler. Tom and Tyler, and TT! Oh my God! Tom and Tyler, so go ahead. And Homeless Pimp. Now, Homeless Pimp, is, homeless pimp has now become the side piece to T.T. Jerry. Um, he used to be the main bitch. And then, okay, so can you marry them quickly? I just want to say, T.T. Get on your knees. No, I've not been, you, T.T. I've, I've been not again. <laughs> T. Look at this. I've been thinking about this a long time. I adore you. I love everything that you're about. And it's good. I want you to be my person forever. Nice person. Okay. I like it. Well. Very beta. Since you got become, I will be yours forever. Okay. Wow. Now, last but not least, the only thing that makes up official, a kiss on the lips. Do it. Do it. Come on, kiss it. Yeah. I love it. All I right, love thank it. You, thank you, guys. Ordained. Thank it's ordained. You. Ordained, baby. All right, thank you, sir. Your, your beautiful wife. Thank you. Thank you, Tyler. Tyler, it was great to meet you, too, you funny little guy. Wow, look at that. TT got married. He got kissed. Yes. That's it. And now we'll be arrested after the show because we were not allowed to have people on the stage. Well, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you coming. Thank look at that. Love all right, guys. I thank you. you. I love appreciate you. it. Thanks for all the support. Thank we'll have you. a good time. The newlywed. She's newly married. Thank you. I oh, yeah, just drop the mic. Another $500. Just did a dope show at the win. It's a Vegas Friday night. Nothing better than this. Today for 1200? Abbreviated TBT. It's that time towards the end of the week. Throwback Thursday. Throwback Thursday. I bet you I get one more question right. Keep it on. <laughs> Let me see if I get this question right. Oh, the Daily Double. Come on, guys, get excited. Fuck Zed. <laughs> Fuck the club, man. Daily Double. Okay. Here we go. If you're correct, here's your clue in time to call it a day. Richard Nixon was this type of teacher, but Jimmy Carter is more famous for being one. The president? They ran back. I know, I know. Mike? Hey, bro, I need your help. Come on, get in here. That's your photo right there. Three. 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 Three.
I can From make LA. I can we, make you look dude. Great, man. How you doing, man? Like an awesome show. Did what? you make coffee today? You a barista? I'm a little small. <laughs> <laughs> come on, you want to have a tea tea? Yeah, of uh, course. Come on, dude. Right there. Look at this. Get in. Hold on. Get out of here. Make a sandwich. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> it's like, it's this kid looks like if Portland was a person, it's this fucking kid. <laughs> I'm from Florida, shit. Oh my god. That was like fucking incredible, man. Thank you, man. Take I, guess, I guess we're all Puerto Ricans now. We all, are you Puerto Rican? Yeah, yeah, fuck no, yeah. Yes, on the oh, that's right. Oh, you're a Puerto Rican. <laughs> nice, dude. Yeah. Take, take a poster, dude. Yeah. Stick it on your unicycle. Thank you so much. I'll see you, I'll see you in Puerto Rico April 22nd. Fuck if only. <laughs> hey, what's up, brother? This guy looks like an oligarch undercover. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. I'm sorry if they if I if the government seized your yacht. <laughs> hey, good show. Thank you guys. Look at this. Look at this. This is Andrew Santino if he never made it. How dare you? We almost missed the show from my Somebody stole your purse? TT? Yeah. I, no, 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 no. I just want my car keys back. That's it. Did your purse actually get stolen? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What? And you have no car keys? No, he has a car keys. guy doesn't give a shit. Look at him. I have the other car keys. Other car keys but... It'll be fine. <laughs> I like you. it, dude. Oh, nice. We got a gift for you. Whoa, got a gift for TT. Let's do a little picky wiki. A little picky wiki. Come on. All right, here we go. Love it. What's yeah, the gift? What's right. the gift for TT? Well, are we still doing wait, one? Is it? Oh, are we still doing one? Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's, a video now. it's a video. Oh, it's a video for the gift. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Here yeah. we go. So, so, so Mike got you a... We need a little gerbil. Oh, oh, we got a little gerby wormy. So you can start practicing. <laughs> you don't got to do the real thing. Start practicing first. There you go. For TT, we got a little gerby wormy. Okay, we love you, TT. We love you. Okay, thank you. We drove from Cali all the way out here, so we can love you guys. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you so what, who's this guy? Can TT say hi to my wife? Hi! Whoa! She's been texting you about us coming. Oh my god, hi! How come she's not here? Why you didn't come? She doesn't fly? Oh not real good. TT, I'm so happy to meet you. Oh. I'm your biggest fan, TT. You look beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Mwah. Mwah. I love you. Hi. Oh my god, it's amazing. I love it. Yes. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Do you have a problem if your husband no. goes home with her tonight? <laughs> There you go. <laughs> look, look, he got he got her a gift that he wants to use on her later tonight. A little gerbil he bought for her. Oh, I love it. God, aka Kanye West. There he is. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. I wish you were here. We had open seats. Someone give me some gum. I have zero, I have so, I have no well, energy. I have, I have maybe minutes left of energy. No, but they want to go out till 6 a.m. I, I don't know why I do this. I don't know why I invite people to the shows. I don't know what I'm doing. From now on, no one's at my shows. Hey, even Pimp, just bring just the camera and, and let it, and I'll, I'll press play. <laughs> and then I'll send the footage, I'll mail the camera back to you in the mailbox. <laughs> Luck be a lady tonight. Kate Spade, bro? Call David Spade. I'll text him to call David Spade. We'll get it fixed for you. When did you get that? Couple years ago. Oh. It's been breaking, actually. Did I get it for you or your ex? I need to go drunk Huh? I got it for myself, thank you. That means I got it. Oh, you're an asshole. Patreon.com slash Jazzy Method, folks.
Yeah, that's how I got my own bag. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Built it. That's right. I'll make sure you guys over On the what? backs of... Where are you going, James? What? Finish your pen, please. James, I got three words. Pimp, get ready. James, I got three words. Show your bush. Ew. Come on, pull out your bush. Fine. Look at his ass crack. Get the fuck out with your shit, pimp. <laughs> James Madden, everybody, folks. James Madden did a great job. The Pride of 702. Las Vegas' is own. Big debut at the win. He <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Delilah won't murder all of them. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's come here. Like, I don't think she trusts you. No, I trust you. That's why I exes do. No, I do trust you. I'm not a horrible person. Do you want to take me? Let's go. That's how you guys have it. How'd the show go, TT? Show went good? God, it went beautiful. It went great. I, I couldn't want to be anywhere less than where I am right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Got new dates on tour. ChrisDComedy.com, Tarrytown. We got Milwaukee, Madison, Wisconsin, San Francisco, Chicago, whole bunch of cities, Charlotte, North Carolina. Go to ChrisDComedy.com, Toronto. And this is my friend, Philippe. <laughs> Philippe. What's your real name? Jay, Jason. Nice man. Good rock and roll, brother. I appreciate it, brother. The pre-sale code is monkeypox. Monkeypox. Right. I'm here doing my show at Just for Laughs Comedy Festival, Club Soda. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and I brought a special guest who's between my legs. Hi. All right, man. We're here at Club Soda. This is my big headlining show. Last time uh, I was at this festival, I was all I was three miles away in a shitty you know room that sat 50 people I sold 20 tickets now um, I'm in uh, club soda and I filled the lineup up with lesbians and then the, the grand master of the lesbians me will come out to close the show <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna be great it's gonna be fun and uh, I, I'm pretty sure that half the crowd from the girls got to eat show uh, is here tonight. So this show tonight is called Guys Gotta Eat. And it's just gonna be me on stage doing my new bits while I eat poutine, pizza, and Dairy Queen and then try to just get a fucking stripper to come on and teabag me. <laughs> I podcasted in bed with uh, Mateo at 9 a.m. and then Nimesh at Nimesh Patel at 4 p.m. That's what goes on in the Chrissy D. Green Room. Woo! There he is. There he is. The footwork. The oh, yeah, the legendary. <laughs> uh, I hiked up a mountain, um, and now I'm eating Montreal pizza, which uh, was a bad choice. Um, and uh, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm pandering. I'm wearing a Montreal Expos jersey, which everyone thinks I bought today, but I didn't. I found this, um, and I realized that at the bottom of it, it has come on it somewhere. Oh, oh no, that this come in my pants. That's come. Yeah, there it is, folks. Welcome to Montreal. Oh, you know him from the Chrissy Chaos Podcast. You know him from Hey Me, my brother, the man of the hour, the man with the power too sweet to be sour. Please erupt for the great Chris DeSemo. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Give it up for James Madden, everyone. If it pops out, it pops out. Hey, everybody. What's up, everybody? Just finished Just for Laughs Comedy Festival. I'm fucking hammered. I drank so many beers that are 9% alcohol. And what else? And I gotta be honest, man. 
come see me perform. My next show is in Staten Island at, at um, Eggers Com um, at Ice Cream Cut. Shop. <laughs> and listen, here's the truth. You ready for this? I got one thing to say. I'm drunk. Started. I'm drunk. My mind is clear. I know one thing for sure and one thing only. Joe Biden's dead. <laughs> What's going on? You want to help? B. <laughs> B's like, B's like, fuck off. No, 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 I'm gonna help. Yeah, right, yeah, right. You're 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 Right now, it's on us. Come on in for a free shot while you wait to eat pig. Oh. All right, where do we grab it from? We're not gonna burn it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yo, slap me some skin, homie. <laughs> slap me some skin, Jack. I'm telling you, I don't understand what you're saying. You don't and you don't like it either, dude. You're Egyptian. I know you're bullshit. This fucking guy is an undercover Italian. What's Joe doing right now? Joe's eating me. What they did, they, they had a pig roast for Joe's birthday. They named this pig Chris Stefano, and it's it's hurtful. There's no way you eat a piece of that and go, I don't like it. There's no way. Do you realize how insensitive? Taste a little piece. I don't, I just don't want it. Just taste a little tiny little piece. You know what you're probably doing right now? You're like your mom. Oh, that's good. This is what I want to do. I want to eat a, a bucket of pork that they have that they're handing out on the streets, on the rat-filled streets of New York City. They're not handing it out. Look at this bisexual. <laughs> they're charging us for sandwiches. <laughs> Oh yeah, you mean the way a business works? It's your you birthday. invited us to your birthday party! No, it's we're having a pig roast. I didn't you say it was said great. The way the business works, there's no way the birthday party works. I had to pay for every drink for you last night. And I had Unreal. to get fucking, I had to get talk, I had to get life and one of his friends is giving me life advice. He's from Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, and he still lives there. I said, dude, I'll never listen to a fucking word you say until you get out of Phoenixville, Make Pennsylvania. Make sure when you have an Oxycontin, you have a Red Bull dude to wake you up for the drive to your child court meeting. <laughs> He was like, he was just going on and on and on about his wife. I said, yeah, she hates you because you live in Phoenixville. She told you were going to get her out. You guys had a nice talk. Yeah, and then DeRosa kept commenting about how tight his wife's ass was, like a little piglet he is. <laughs> his wife, not my wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, take, taste a piece of this. All right, I'll taste a little piece. I'll Give taste one little fucking piece. piece. Give him the most undeniable oh. piece. There it is. All right, let's fuck it. It's fine. <laughs> I'm getting a beefy. <laughs> he's literally a barbarian, dude. Look at him. Look at him. He's eating like like we're, like this like the Roman Empire. Pork over a sink. Oh, here you go. Oh, I hope he gets shot. <laughs> it's actually really good. <laughs> what? What's the ew? You're eating a hoof. You're, you're eating it like a slice of watermelon. Yeah, dude. I'm eating it like a chicken. Why don't you eat, like? you eat an eyeball? You no, like a drumstick. Yeah. It smells like uh, 
What's going on, guys? Ari? Mm -hmm. That's pork. That's the pork? That's the sandwich? Yeah. That's the sandwich. Yeah, How good is it? Hey, what's, what's up, brother? That's the sandwich. What's up, dude? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Right. it's quite good. You have beefies back there? You guys making beefies? Yeah, Can I get a beefy? Yeah. Wait, no, order beefy. from the bartender, you pig. You can't. <laughs> no! <laughs> cash. No, order from the bartender. Me, I'll Venmo you. Get it off the books. <laughs> Don't Venmo me. Order from the bartender like a normal person. <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right, I'll go tell the bartender. <laughs> so good. So good. Got some of it under your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, he's disgusting. What's Joe up to right now? Joe's eating a fucking pig leg with Buddy Holly glasses. I hope he goes out the same way. <laughs> Dude, I barked at her earlier. She goes, I like your glasses. You look like the guy that married his daughter. <laughs> The guy who marries his daughter would be in a pig hoof in the streets. <laughs> You're right, he didn't, he would marry his daughter. Pepper relish and everything, so good. Here, Pimp, here's a piece of pork for you. Okay, wow, Great thanks. <laughs> That's what you're Yes, you all right? No, she's not all right. She fell in garbage. It can't be all right after that. What the hell just happened? What happened? Dad pretends to burn kids' Christmas gifts. <laughs> Karen's, <laughs> Karen's fire back. That's abuse. No, it's not. It's a good dad joke. <laughs> so good. It's dude. actually what I'm going to fucking do and probably <laughs> burn the house down, and Sean's going to have to save my family. <laughs> <clears throat> now, do you think that's mean to the kids? That has impact on the kids at all? Or? Oh, my God. Everything has an impact on the kids. If somebody did that to my kids and it was a prank, I would die on the floor laughing. And then, you know, I mean, dude, I mean, it is. Wait, what was the gag that he made believe? The kids thought it was their gifts, and he said some. He but, did a bit. but he put them in the microwave. Uh, well, I think he threw, threw them in a furnace. Oh, my God. Why do you have a furnace in your house? Right. That's the real question. <laughs> <laughs> Probably in the country. What are you doing? Definitely not Manhattan. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I mean, dude, it's funny. I think whatever you want to do with your kids, do with them. I don't think, you know, it's like. Social media. Also, the Karens on social media, just shut up. Like, it's, it's just like, you know, people have stuff. Again, we've talked about this. If you are commenting negatively on somebody's social media for any reason, you're psychotic. And you're, and you're a narcissist. And you just, it's not about them. It's about you. It's, it, I think what it highlights is the narcissism. Um, but, uh, yeah, Karens, Karens fire back that the dad pretended to burn the Christmas gifts. It's like, listen... You're just fucking horny, Karen. That's all you're doing is you're trying to... You wish that he would have fucking st stuffed the Christmas gifts in your pussy. Well, he's not. <laughs> he's not. And yeah, you might be single and alone. And maybe you're getting up there in age. Maybe you're f in your 40s. or wh Who cares? Then you live your life. Then, you know, there's so many things you can fucking do. Do you want to feel wanted? Do you want to feel wanted and taken care of and protected? Be a drug mule for the Tijuana cartel. They'll fucking make sure that you feel good. <laughs> They will. You're not. Nothing's gonna happen to you, baby. You know, maybe, maybe you don't have any kids, but uh, you know, hey, you've had a lot of sex. Now you have a white set pussy. You can fit a lot of drugs up there. Oh, 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 I'm my God. trying to be positive. We can go get a little hot chocolate at Maribel's, which is in, uh, which is far away from here. You can go to Maribel's and get a little hot chocolate. Oh, you can Snapchat. You can Snapchat. Life has given me some curveball. <laughs> no, I don't even have my Snapchat. Oh, Ooh, Milf I Manor! Think it's my time to find love. What is Milf Manor? This is the new show. Oh my years. God! I get a chance to do me alone. Young men have much more energy. They think out of the box. Hey, Jess. I want that. Especially in the bedroom. Oh, hey, Chris. <laughs> in this amazing, beautiful mansion. <clears throat> okay, Milf Manor. This is a it's perfect interesting. place to find love. What do you think, Dean? No? Welcome to Not the for villa. you. I have an extremely yeah, high libido. I mean, it's beautiful that, that they are finding love. That is beautiful. I just don't... I'm not attracted to younger men. I just, I just can't wrap my head around it. But so, maybe but, but, it's a thing of age. So you're saying you're you would like you would date a guy like in his forties, um, like yeah. you would like like that's not too old. 
I think like 40 is is okay. I once went on 45? A, too much. Yeah, too much. Got no. to, if you're 41, you're good. We're good. That's, <laughs> okay. I think, well, that's because of, you know, the Yaya conversation we were having right. before. Because, because, yeah. No, but um, yeah, this, I think it just depends on like what age you are in. But I'll, I won't date guys that are like two years younger than me. I think it's you just. You can't do that. I think if I didn't know that you were two years younger than me, at the end of the day, guys, it's a vibe. Like It's a vibe. I don't care about anything unless like we're vibing. But do you think that it gets to a point where like you get to these women's age where they're in their 50s where then you do want young guys because you're not if you're 50 you're not going to want a 60 year old yeah I, that's what i'm saying i think like if i don't know i'll call you guys in about 20 years got it yeah. got it milf manner there there is one twist we don't know what the twist is yet Ooh. but i i think it is the the uh the guys who they're going to be picking from are each other's sons wow that's a good twist that's <laughs> a show <laughs> God, I wish my mom was a MILF. <laughs> <laughs> you should have submitted her. Oh, my God. <laughs> Without her permission. You call in a favor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine she got on. Oh, my, my God. God. And that's dude. the bit. And she's furious for six months. And then you're one of those contestants, one of the sexy guys to pick from. Oh, my God. I'm the only one who doesn't take my shirt off. <laughs> I can't. Uh, fuck. Oh, dude. Ma imagine being that guy in 98 Degrees. Who, all the three of the other three of them would be ripped and their shirts off, and then he just always have on like a fucking like oh, either a wife yeah. beater or a t-shirt. Look at this, great. Mag Look at how much this would suck to be that. Look at it. Look that. Go down. This one. Oh well, actually, there's two of them with shirts on. I get, but you know that the other guy, Drew Lachey, had to put the shirt on so the other one didn't feel bad. This I don't is remember it. Remember yeah. them at all? You don't remember ninety eight? Well, I guess no. yeah, you're young. You're I remember in sync. I remember in sync. I just blocked these guys out. Dude, the guy, the the fat, the the guy who wasn't in the best shape from ninety eight degrees looks like looks like no, he looks like Sean, but he also looks like um, he also looks like um, Danny McBride. Oh wow! Right? Yeah. He that's Danny McBride. It's Wait, did ninety degrees put out a new music video? <laughs> Play it. Let's see. Let me find it. Wow. Dude, Nick Lachey, I mean, far and away is the best looking one, right? I mean, Nick Lachey is, you understood why he became like the star. Yesterday, my dad was talking about it in the car. We were driving up and he kept saying, he kept saying, I don't have an issue with that little black mermaid. I was like, <laughs> the black little mermaid. I was like, when you say little, when you mix the words, it sounds like you do have a problem with it. He's like, that little black mermaid, I got no issue. I was like, it sounds like you do. Oh, dude, I'm going to my high school, 20 year high school reunion on Saturday. Nice. I have to pay $200. Dude, you know who I hope shows up is I, the cannibal cop. Oh, you heard that he yeah. went to my high school, dude. So everyone's hoping that we show that he shows up. What would you even say to him? Are you hungry? <laughs> I would put ketchup on my arm and be like, dude, <laughs> you show up in the hot dog outfit. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> dude, what's up, dude? You know what I was just thinking? I should have went as Rosanna Scotto. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been a bit. Damn, I literally just hit me on 3rd Avenue. Dude, I was thinking we should have done Dead Queen of England. You should have came on as a Oh my god. I should have came, but, 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 like, but like how if, 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 if she was killed by Hillary Clinton. Because <laughs> Lane Maxwell. <laughs> What's up, everybody? We're here outside Fox 5 New York. Um, I was called late last night by Rosanna Scotto and the rest of the Fox 5 News team for me to come in today and be Rosanna's co-host because guess what? It's probably going to be a Republican New York. So they want me in and I'm coming in ready like a hot dog, but it's vegan. <laughs> See if it fits, don't I? The, the back kind of on Velcros. Okay, so, so it's like this, okay. You know what? You know what would be wild to happen? Could you imagine? Because this is just like a fun new, fun news segment. Could you imagine if some like real breaking news hits, and I'm there with a hot dog having to give my opinion? <laughs> oh no! Another mass shooting. Oh, I love it. I would still plug my dates.
Okay. Mr. Yeah. DeStefano? Yes, sir. How are you? What's, What's up, buddy? Know, by the way. What's up, man? Chris, What's going nice on? to meet you. This is Mike and Benetia. Hi, Hi. how are you guys? Couple. Good morning. Oh, 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 it happens. <laughs> it happens. See, they, took, they take too slow, and then yeah. when they open too packed today in I every other makeup. room. I need makeup <laughs> for to be a hot dog. Yeah. I need, what's the makeup? Uh, the, we, uh, huh? Ketchup. Ketchup? Yeah. What about relish? <laughs> is that makeup? That's more like an accessory. Yeah, they're gonna like put that. Maybe it'll be a like one side red, one side yeah. yellow, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I, we'll I, I, what, I can't uh, be in yellow like, face. See what our girl Alexis got for you. <laughs> hey, it's not yellow face, it's mustard. Okay. Remember that bit, guys, when I did. Yeah, I think I probably got me. Dude, I'm shadow banned again. What happened? I don't know. You can't post? Well, I guess, I mean, we started the episode last week with I have a transgender Puerto Rican mermaid. <laughs> the Little Mermaid is really transgender Puerto Rican. I listened to this guy, Jack Ma, who created Alibaba, and he said, just keep going. So that's what I'm thinking about every time I get shadow banned, that eventually the world conforms to you, and, you know, one day you'll create Alibaba. You'll be Kanye-level shadow banned. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the new Kanye. That's amazing. I'm like, you need a moment. I'm gonna be on, too. Are you coming on? It's <laughs> in a Joe's Ferry filled with asbestos and roaches. <laughs> oh, my God. Just like, just like his apartment. <laughs> This is what it is. This is what it is to be a beautiful hot dog. Um, listen, should I, um, what should I do when I get out? Imagine I just literally open and I'm just like, hey, I know I'm a hot dog, Kanye, don't eat me. <laughs> These are your cards for the guests, just reference cards in case you like miss the teleprompter. Or no, well, you're a good kid, dude. <laughs> I like you. Appreciate it. <laughs> yes, they are. In order. What do you want to be? Do you want to do this? Is this what? Is this your? What's your? What's the goal in life? What's the goal in life? Yeah, it's a great question. <laughs> um, no, um, no, yeah. No, yeah. So I like, uh, I'm a communications major with a okay. uh, concentration in journalism. Okay. So, you know, we'll see what happens here with nice, the dude. around journalists. So, you know. Just... Noah's dad owns the building. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Let's see if you can be a better journalist than Tim Dillon. Yeah, right? <laughs> Celebrating its 49th anniversary, New York's Village Halloween Parade is the nation's largest public Halloween parade. Uh, largest public Halloween celebration. Over two million of people attend the annual event. One that one. Uh, wait. Over two million uh, people attend the annual event. All the gays. <laughs> She'll agree with you on that. It wouldn't be Halloween without a performance from the hauntingly fabulous show Beetlejuice the Musical. The guy from Howard Stern. Segments and stuff. So I'm actually. So this is the culmination of Chrissy Daytime TV. We started that bit a year ago, where I would just go on different daytime talk shows and bomb. It is now culminated and I am actually hosting Fox News a, an entire hour with Rosanna Scotto, my idol. I am hosting the show. So this is an hour of Chrissy Daytime and um, I was told to just stick to the teleprompter and I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it's the chaos countdown. That's what it is. This is prepare yeah, this is preparing for my job um, in local uh, news. Which is what where I'll probably wind up is after I get shadow banned on enough platforms, I'm just gonna have to start reading the traffic in fucking Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Who is that? Is that Rosanna? <laughs> Look at that. Nice. How are you? Are you the stomach virus I had this weekend? <laughs> Yo, that's just crazy. That's a wild costume. It's actually. <laughs> Damn, great knees. I like it. Dude, this is <laughs> Get in here. How are you? On. Damn, what a gig. Dude, those are good cut. The other person that just walked by, it was just like a, a, a girl. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl in like some type of weird costume. What do we got? Ooh. Hodo, Hodo Alien. Oh. Hodo Alien. There it is. Performance art. Wait, open it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Inner Alien. Look at that. Cool. I like that, man. That's it. I'm going to vote for you next Tuesday. You're going to save this city. <laughs> Are you on the ballot? Are you... 
This is what Bill de Blasio does now? <laughs> okay, bye. Nice to see you. There it is. There it is, folks. That's um that's that's what our country is now. That actually was pretty cool. She was to be to be honest with you, she was kind of scaring me. It was freaking me out a little bit. She was freaking me out. Yo, we should go to a fucking haunted house today. Are you high? Is there are there haunted houses still in, in New York? Yeah. Or do you just what do you do you just walk down 42nd Street? What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Has one? The gun free zone? Yeah. Dude, how about this? Today I'm taking my kids trick or treating in Old Richmond Town, which is like the historic village in Staten Island. So it's just people like dressed up as like ancient, you know, like people from like colonial times. So it should be, I guess it should be good. It's very funny to watch these goombas from, from Staten Island, you know, talk about churning butter with, but you know, their name's Vincenzo. And they like make believe there's some like colonial blacksmith, and they're like, "This is how we made shoes." <laughs> they're not making cheese. No, making I know I should. Cheese butter. This is the real. If you wanted, who's who's underneath the mask? It's her. It's it's w Vilma Hodo. Vilma Hodo. That's what it is. What do you think of this? It's vegan. If yeah. yeah. It's vegan. So oh my gosh, that's, that's crazy. Shocking. Thank there's, you. There's oh, is there? Oh. <laughs> Should I put have a sweatshirt on and not have my arms out? I <laughs> know. Is it better like this? Actually, I like it better. You could be up there sweating, bombing. <laughs> <laughs> is it better like this? I kind of like it. You're right. I, I would host the news. I actually, my goals have changed, and I want to be the new Rosanna Scotto. I'd like Rosanna Scotto to pass the baton to me. And then I will continue doing the news as Rosanna Scotto. When she's dead and gone, I'll be Rosanna. <laughs> she will outlive all of us. Rosanna Scotto will outlive all of us. I want to get invited to Rosanna Scotto's house for fucking dinner with her family. It's a hard restaurant, right? That restaurant is dope, I heard. He tipped 100 percent He tipped 100 percent It was 500 but you know. It's still not bad. It's not bad. He could have done a little better. You can't record in here. Oh no? This year, Larry Scott is decorated and it's gonna be a wild hour with us. Stay with us right here on Good Day New York. We'll be right back. It's My god, it's like a nuclear war. You want to just say how it went? Yeah. All right. That was it. We just finished co-hosting the 9 o'clock hour with Rosanna Scott on Fox 5. I dressed as a hot dog and I pissed off Gay Larry. And that was it, man. It was fun. And that's the bit. I think we retire daytime Chrissy, and we start with nighttime Chrissy when I host my show for Vice. Look at this. They said uh, they said they gave us sweets for my kids, but I'm just going to give them to Hank from Are You Garbage. <laughs> yeah, so now I just did uh, morning news for an hour, and now uh, I have to do three pods. I have to do uh, Chrissy Chaos, uh, Patreon, Chrissy Cass YouTube, and a Hey Babe. But at least we got sweets. I had to take a bite of this and it broke my fast. Fucking pieces of shit. <laughs> Dude, that guy Larry genuinely wants piping. Yeah, oh, yeah what yeah, happened? We, it was great. It was a great. What was I don't know. Like, between, I, he popped yeah, off. Larry, the guy, yeah, the guy Larry who, who built all the, baked all these sweets was like, you keep insulting me. I was like, Dude, you're being gay. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Now let's pay $90 for parking. Patreon, Patreon, Patreon. That was a fun one, dude. That was just had the Are You Garbage Boys on. Um, the, the, the thing with those kids, with the garbage kids, is they are, everybody in comedy is rooting for them. Everybody. There's not one person who doesn't like, like them. Everybody's like, yeah, because they've been slaving at it, you know, taking swings for so long. Hit huge with garbage. And you can almost feel like it's going to keep graduating into the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. I mean, them having like an are you garbage, 
you know, comedy tour or an Are You Garbage movie or TV show. It's like, why isn't Are You Garbage a fucking show? I think it should be like uh, Hot Ones. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, get a guest on Are You Garbage. It's the best idea that's come out of podcasting in a long time. It's like, are they making Nancy Pelosi toilet paper? Uh, with Hitler mustaches here. Oh, good. There you go. Um, but there's a lot of people now saying that they think that the Pelosi shit is uh, was like her her husband's gay and this was his lover. Well, Elon Musk was tweeting that stuff, yeah, you know, and then he deleted it. <sighs> but you know it. what? To be honest with the, my group chat was lighting up with that before Elon tweeted that. Well, now I heard from the real like a real news source that there was a third person there. They're not sure who that person was. Blah, blah, blah. Well, here's my question. Here's my only question. It's, it's Nancy Pelosi, okay? It's the Speaker of the House's residential home. You're telling me there's not security there 24-7, 365? How do you just get in? You know, like, it's it, it, it's not... Look at the pomp and circumstance we saw today for the President of the United States. But he's a headliner. But so is Pelosi. You don't think Pelosi's a headliner at this point? I think she's a decorated feature. <laughs> <laughs> but there's still enough... That guy still had to evade security. There's. I think that he was let in by Pelosi. I guess. I just don't know what, what house it is. Is it their main roost? Because, like, when the Hamptons... Supposedly it's their main house. In the Hamptons, I could have walked up on Giuliani. I knew where he slept. There's no security. There was no security ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he's kind of like exiled out of... He's not currently in. I get it, but... Like, Nancy Pelosi's like le- the legitimate Speaker of the House. It's interesting. She... I just... I don't know. Imagine being that old and being evil. It doesn't seem... Feasible. Doesn't seem right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's like all of politics. What are you guys saying? It's just so exhausting. I don't know. No, they'll do it. I think that, honestly, man, honestly, and, you know, it's... I don't know above my pay grade, but just, you know, or on my shows so or just taking swings... I think that they're going to use this now to, you know, more MAGA bashing, more this is why Republicans can't be in office, blah, 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 well, blah, blah. Well, they're already referring to it as the silent civil war. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's like they use it politically. Like, I'm not I'm not so sure that he didn't fucking sign up to get his head caved in with a bat, with a hammer, because Pelosi's like, we need the votes. Like, I, you know, like these people are that, they're, scum, they're all fucking scum. They're all, I don't know them, so I guess I can't say for sure, but they feel like scum. All of them just feel, both sides just feel like scummy, scummy people. Mm-hmm. What a, could we do have a world with no government? He's doing, Yo! He's doing chiropractor shit to a dog. Mm-hmm. Yo, look at that dog's face! Oh my God, it's, it's weird, man. It's weird. Yeah, there's no way. Why didn't the dog just bite him? Here, hold Please this. This is Kanye out. West's music player. We wanted to see what happens if a Jewish person oh, holds really? it. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, it burns in Donda into my hand. <laughs> this is the last episode from the Staten Island studio. Yep. Then we are moving on, baby. We are going to have a little bit of an interim going live from Homeless Pimp's apartment. Um, and then we are moving to our studio in Soho. And we thought, what better guest to end it all from the Flagrant 2 podcast, Mark Gaginon. <laughs> Mark non. Mark, I heard you have anxiety, so I wanted to come out with a pop. You know? Dude, I like it, man. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Do you have his face when it popped? Oh yeah, I have it. Oh Mark Gagnon. Uh. We saw a protest in Trafalgar Square. Um, I was just walking around being in Trafalgar. The protesters glued themselves to the floor. They glued themselves to, to the to the road that stopped traffic in three directions. They literally stopped traffic in three directions in one of the busiest parts of London. And I was like, that would never happen in New York because a cop would pull a gun out yeah. and be like, if you don't move, you're going to get f- killed. Or, or not even a cop, a private citizen yeah. or taxi cab driver would come out with a baseball bat <laughs> and be like, I make $10 a year if I don't get this person to the f- airport at time i'm gonna lose my family and i'm gonna have to have to i'm gonna have to kill myself because my daughter will get into japanese <laughs> and they would hit them <laughs> with a baseball bat until they moved but here the cops were just talking to them the the p- people were like oh wouldn't you move yeah. wouldn't you like you should move we need guns or we need something like the ccp you know <laughs> yes yeah i am the chrissy chaos podcast <laughs> that's what he meant yes <laughs> what do you think tupac <laughs> menorah for the jews Santa for the Christmas uh, Christians and Tupac for Kwanzaa. And if you are upset by that, then tell me who who do you think better embodies Kwanzaa than Tupac Shakur? Tell me. I would 1,000% with a female avatar. 
They're so hot. And is that cheating? <laughs> now, how much? Because when you say don't cheat, I hear you. But is it just on the planet? What about different galaxies? Like, you know what I mean? There has to be a way out. You have to give a person hope. <laughs> yeah, well, and look, they're poking him and the lion can't even do anything. Well, I think that, I think that, wow, they're just hitting him with water like he's a protester. Um, <laughs> they, all right, for the first time ever in my life, I'm about to eat a freaking snail that's covered in butter and what else is on, on it? Garlic, butter. it looks like a mushroom. It looks like one of my dad's back warts. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I like the bread. Why, why don't you like it? Why don't you like it? I don't know. It's too chewy. To be honest, if I'm just gonna be honest with you, I've always fucking hated the French. Shut up, dude. Oh, you guys are just good at cake. <laughs> Napoleon was a dick. Justin Trudeau sucks. You know Justin Trudeau? Justin Trudeau is Fidel Castro's son. And this oh, no, we're not. Oh, no, no, no. We are doing an episode next week. This is the 99th because next week is the 100th. And I got a special guest. I'm just going to tell you guys, T.T. Jerry's coming back. And uh, <laughs> Hyped, dude. Uh, you're going to see T.T. Jerry in ways you've never seen her before. You're going to see an intimacy come from me and T.T. Jerry that you've never seen before. Ooh. Um, and one of us is probably going to walk off the show. Episode 100, next t uh, Tuesday. Tell your friends. Tell Tupac. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. And um, what do you say for uh, Kwan? What do you say for Kwan? Is it Happy Kwanzaa? Happy Kwanzaa. You heard? <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys, man. I love religion. And I love our dis difference. I I I I celebrate. I I like our similarities, but I celebrate our differences. That's what I want you guys to take on this holiday season. I celebrate all our differences. And um, next week's hundredth episode, you're gonna see. You're gonna see. <laughs> you're gonna see what I mean. I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna show you TT's pussy.